System Capital Management is the business group that's owned by the Ukrainian businessman, Mira Akhmetov. Uh, SCM Group was headquartered in Donetsk prior to the conflict breaking out in the east of Ukraine. So this conflict is one which has had a significant impact on our business and a significant impact on all of the employees uh, and their families. So this is uh, our region, uh, our territory, and obviously our concern. What we wanted to do as a business, and what the owner wanted to do, is to make sure that we provided as much assistance and help as possible to those who were affected by the conflict. So why have you brought it here today to the European Parliament? Well, today the exhibition is being brought to the Parliament by uh, our foundation, the Renat Akhmetov Foundation. And the reason for that is that, in some ways, this conflict has become Europe's forgotten conflict. Yet, we have an active conflict taking place in Europe. Last year, for example, 190 civilians died. Over 1,000 civilians were injured. And we need to highlight the fact that this is a real conflict taking place now in Europe and it needs both a political solution which can only be provided uh, through uh, significant players such as the European Union and those citizens who are in need in the conflict affected areas in Donbass, they need assistance and help to overcome the humanitarian challenges that they face in terms of very simple things like health care, food, access to water, and most of all, security. I think that without sanctions, then there is no cost for Russia of this conflict. The sanctions are extremely important in focusing the mind of the Russian government of the need to provide a solution to this war. So I feel they're very important, and this unanimity amongst European Union member states to maintain these sanctions against Russia, it shows the strength, the strength of collective action of the European Union. So it's both important for the European Union as a power player to maintain the sanctions and to ensure that Russia is held to account for its aggression in the east of Ukraine. It's important to come to this place, to this parliament, in order to let members of parliament and their advisors see the human cost of conflict. What happens, what is happening now, if this is an ongoing conflict, what is happening now in areas that are only a short two-hour flight from here, with people losing their homes, significant injuries, significant civilian casualties as a result of Ukraine becoming the third most mined country in the world, here in Europe. So this forgotten conflict must be brought back onto the agenda and politicians to understand how they can take steps and accept responsibility also for driving forward what we hope will be at some point a peaceful solution to this war.